when Jesus comes and as he begins to reward men, the Bible clearly tells us that the reward of the believer is going to be with respect to the Great Commission. This is very interesting. The standard for our rewards are not left in the dark. That our rewards when making or being with Jesus as we know is just one aspect of it. But that there are rewards in heaven and that those rewards will be according to our passion and our drive as far as fulfilling the Great Commission is concerned. There are many aspects to the world to world evangelization. Those who are sent forth, I remember growing up, sometimes you would, uh, you would attend, you know, certain um, programs, crusades, and they would ask people, how many of you are ready to dedicate your life and go to the mission field? And sometimes you see people just come out crying, and they meant what they were doing as they came out, because some of them had to shut down everything. Now, as much as we love the missionaries who are doing their all, I want you to know that world evangelization let me repeat for your understanding part of the responsibilities of any believer in Christ is to be an active contributor towards the global harvest it is not an option it has nothing to do with being called into the fivefold ministry or not and you know um, I say this with every sense of sadness we pride ourselves, even in ministry, using mundane parameters of success. In the mind of God, no matter who you are and no matter what you do, if it does not translate to the conversion of souls, you are not much in the kingdom. That is the truth. It's as simple as that. Never see a soul winner and believe that soul winner is wasting time. The soul winner cannot preach, but if he can bring people to Jesus, he is great in the kingdom. It's important for us to redefine our success by superior spiritual references. There are many, many people as believers, even as men of God, in a whole year, you can literally count by hand the number of people who are saved. It's a waste of platform. It's a waste of grace. 2.6 billion professing Christians this is not an advocacy of an evangelist. This is a cry that is in the heart of God. And listen, let me tell you the truth. The Bible says, I shall not die. We fear death a lot, but the Bible says that your longevity in the kingdom, among many other factors, is connected to your participating in the Great Commission. I shall not die, but live and declare. In other words, if your life is not actively contributing as far as, as the Great Commission is concerned, there is no justification for your longevity.